Hello guys, uh, this is Amel again, um, and I'm very happy to be here with you as usual. I want to remind you, go to smartvania.com if you want to find really cool tutorials. And let's begin. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do uh, addition. So addition with integers. So as usual, we have two sections in our program, all the data and all the text. So because we want to do addition, and remember, all the text is just the instructions. Because if we, we want to do addition, we're going to have to declare two variables in random access memory. So the first one that I want to do is, let's say I have number one. And this is going to be an integer. And the value is going to be uh, five. And then I want to have number two. And number two is going to be an integer as well. And the value is going to be 10. And now we want to load those values, all right? Because these values right here, they are in random access memory. But in order to perform addition, they have to be inside the processor. And we're going to load them to the, to the registers. So we're going to say load word. And load word, it just means, okay, get a value from memory. Get a value from memory and put it in the register. So load word, put it in this register right here, dollar sign T0, number one. And well, we can leave it like that for now. But we can also say dollar sign zero. And it's going to do the same thing. I'm going to show you both ways. So now I want to load the second number from memory. So this is in random access memory. And I'm here I'm just moving the values from memory to registers. So now I want to move the second number to the register T0, I mean T1. So number 2, the last sign 0. And now that I have those two numbers, I want to perform an addition. So how do how am I going to add them? I'm going to say add, and this is an instruction. And you can see right here that Mars shows you three parameters. I mean two parameters, and this is where you're going to store. So it means T1 gets the value of T2 plus T3. So let's say I want to store the value in the sign T2, and then I want to add T0 plus T one and I'm gonna write a comment here because I want to make it clear for you what it's doing so t2 the register t2 gets a value of t0 plus t1 so when you when you do the addition the result the sum is gonna be stored in t2 and finally what I want to do is that um, I'm gonna show you that this is working so let me do it. Save it. Let me clear this right here. So save it, right? Then assemble. And then we're going to go, instead of running the program in one step, we're going to do it step by step. So run one step at a time. So run it. And here we see the register in green. Uh, this is the assembler temporary, so it's not, uh, it's reserved. Don't worry about it. Next step. So next step, here we see T0, and T0 now has the value 5 because we moved the value from memory to T0, which was 5. As you remember right here, 5, now number 1 was 5, we moved it to T0, it's right here. And now we continue going. Next step, it goes to assembler temporary because that's reserved, don't worry about it. And now, in this step, we see that T1 has the value 10. We continue, and we see that T2 now gets the value 15. And this is just 10 plus 5 is 15, so it's in T2. So, right here, we're done. So, you can see that our program is working. The addition is being done. So, now, to make it more interesting, Let's use our previous knowledge and say load immediate dollar sign v0 comma comma one 
to print an integer. And then we're going to say add dollar sign a0 dollar sign 0 comma dollar sign comma dollar sign t2. So here we're going to print an integer. So we're saying system prepare because now I want to print an integer. And, th and then you have to say, okay, the integer that I want to print out is the value in T2. So I have to move the value to A0 because it's the argument. So don't worry, I'm going to show you an easier way to do it if you don't understand this part right here. But if you have a value, let's say 15 here, and you add 0 to the value, then it's going to be 15. And then it's going to be stored in, 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 the, in the argument. So it's like if you didn't add anything, you just moved it. So you can use this instruction right here with a zero register just to move a value. But I'm going to show you another a pseudo instruction that's going to help you with that. So finally you say, okay system, now just do it. Let's save, assemble, and execute again. And in the bottom right here, if you pay attention right here, we have the result, 15. So we didn't have to go step by step. And that's why I was showing you how to print out values because it's very useful. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you um, a different way to do this. And I'm going to show you about, I'm going to talk to you about subtraction. Thank you. And well, see you next time.